This land, this place, the dark tide must be quelled. I must call them.
You look lost. Can I help you? Flash? What are you doing here? I is something wrong? This cute little mud is my very naughty dog. I have to catch him before he causes any trouble. Wait! I'll help you! Flash? What a darling little puppy. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's gotten into him. the magic knights have been summoned from beyond the barrier. And so, the legend becomes an embarrassing reality. What can they hope to accomplish using these children? Even if they manage to release Emerald, their power is too limited to be of consequence. Quite true, my liege. Of course. We must watch them closely to minimize any chance for surprises. As you wish. of what's happening, I think we can rule out dreaming. It was a figure of speech. But whatever. We have to find out what happened. What is this strange place? It appears we've been blown out of our world and into another. One thing's for certain. This isn't Tokyo. As we were falling, I saw a floating mountain and a volcano in the distance. I noticed that too. Though, I decided I might be hallucinating. Look, I'm not in the mood to compare trips. We've got to find a way out of here. Well, why don't we introduce ourselves first? What? Admittedly, this is a trying circumstance, but we can at least stay civil. Introductions seem like a natural starting point. Then we can put our heads together and get out of here. Count me in. Then I guess I have no choice. Count me in too. My mother said I blew in on a breeze, so I became known as Fu, which means wind. My friends call me Yumi. I'm 14 in the eighth grade. What a coincidence. I'm 14 too. My name's Sakaru. What? what? 
you're the same age as me? <laughs> you look like you're still in elementary school. I must confess that I have the very same impression of you. <sighs> oh, honestly. I quite obviously am substantially more mature than you, Fu. Are you going to bicker all day? Enough! Emerald must have made some mistake. You can't be the legendary magic knights. You're just bumbling children. What do you mean, children? You're more of a child than I am, buddy. I have lived on this world for 745 years. What? But who are you? My name is Clef. I am the High Priest of Sephiro and your guide in this realm. Until you reach the end of your journey together, you cannot return home. The legendary magic knights have successfully landed. Ha! It seems that our precious emerald is not bound as tightly as we thought. Her intent must be to revive the ancient machines. We must have a plan to counter emerald's activities, Zagat. Your impudence reveals your age. Master Zagat knows all. The ones emerald has summoned from beyond the barrier are merely children. But, now that Clef is guiding them, there may be more cause for concern. That meddlesome priest is the fly in our ointment! The question is, how do we remove him? Alcyon. Yes, Master Zagat. The time has come for a little child abuse. My pleasure, Zagat. This world is known as Sephiro. You have been summoned by Princess Emerald to fulfill your destiny and save us. <laughs> Summon Ray Blast! Holy smoke! When Emerald was free, this land knew nothing of danger and suffering. All beings of Sephiro lived together in peace and harmony, fearing nothing. But now, this world reels as a dark chaos seeks to engulf our very souls. Mutant beasts of unthinkable savagery have consumed our world with fear. All of this came about simply because a princess was taken from you? Yes, Emerald was the cornerstone of all Sephiro. She alone held the power to keep it in balance. You see, in our world, simple thought is the most powerful kind of magic. And a soul pure in thought can wield more power than the most insidious of evils. Princess Emerald held our world together, quite literally, with her prayers. But then someone stole her away? And why would anyone want to imprison her? Sagat, her most trusted aide, has turned this black deed. His lust for power has pushed him to bind the princess and hold her in darkness. It all just sounds so very barbaric. How can it be true? And besides, what relevance does this have to us? We're not of this world. Our best soldiers, knights, and magicians have tried and failed to defeat Sagat. The people of Sephiro simply cannot challenge the strength of his thought successfully. That settles it. We will become these magic knights and save Emerald for you. Hey! Hold on a minute! What makes you think you can speak for the rest of us, Princess? It is by Emerald's wish that you have been called to this land. Only by claiming your destiny as Magic Knights can her wish be fulfilled. 
And only when that happens will the way home reopen to you. So in a nutshell, we have no choice. To get home, we must save Sephiro. Your destiny is to become magic knights and revive the machines. Machines? Can you wield magic? You must have known that, Clef. There's no way we can wield magic. I had hoped that you would have at least some magic ability, but no matter. Magic transmission now! What a rush! I've never felt anything like that! What was it? I tried to give you some of my magic. But it seems that instead, magic has chosen you. Hikaru, close your eyes and feel the power. Can you sense it? The strength swelling within your very soul. I can feel it. My heart seems ablaze with a sense of purpose. That's right. You experience the wellspring of your magic. It appears that Zagat's forces have caught up with us. What? Summon Griffin. Get on, quickly. But what are you going to do? I shall stop them from following you. Now go. That's insane. There is no time to argue. Go. Look for the machines. Volcano, sea, and sky. The machines are there. East, Precia is there, within the Forest of Silence. Obtain weapons from her and join Mokona. Well, well, well. It's been far too long, Clef. You always were a weak-minded follower, Alcio. Your alignment with evil disappoints, but does not surprise me. And yet I remain grateful to you, dear Clef. With the magic you taught me to master, I can now do things like this! I would expect no less a fight from the best magician in Sephiro. I taught you the secrets of my magic to protect Emerald. Now you spit in my face by turning the knowledge I gave you to the service of evil. Ah, yes. The cliff I still remember vividly. Pure to the last. But how will she defeat me if I taught her, you ask? Simple. I just call on Zagat. Zagat! Power up now! As you wish, Alcyone. No! Ha! Those sniveling Magic Knight wannabes are as good as mine now! If Alcyone destroys the three Emeralds summoned, there can be no Magic Knights, and the machines will remain sealed forever. I pray they are strong enough, for soon this stone will overtake me. And the real enemy is much stronger than Alcyone. Oh, I'm so worried. I wonder if Clef is all right. Come on, Fu. Didn't you see the power he had? Of course he's all right. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he's already ahead of us at the Forest of Silence. What have we here? Oh my, it's a gang of optimists. How positively saccharine. Seven Ice Daggers! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> that is the most adorable show of courage I've yet witnessed. I, dear child, am Alcio. You! What have you done with Clef? <gasps> I hope he's all right. Clef is fine. He's far too stubborn to fall to someone as lame as this. Ah, such brave words in the face of impending doom. Don't delude yourself. Your little guardian is solid stone by now, kitties. Liar! I won't believe it! No way! How can that be possible? Don't worry your pretty little air-filled heads. His time had come. And so has yours. Ta-ta, little ones. With you die as the legend of the Magic Knights. Be careful, little one. You wouldn't want to fall off the griffin before I killed you. solve our problem. Hikaru, if we go back and find he is stone, we don't have the means to reverse the spell. Besides, don't you remember that Clef told us to save Sephiro at all costs? That's right. Going back now would play right into the hands of those wishing to stop us. To save Sephiro, we must follow Clef's instructions and move forward at any cost. <sighs> I know. You're right. We have to press on. If I remember right, Clef's instructions were that we should head east. Yes, I'm sure of it now. He said to head east in the Forest of Silence to meet Presia. Wait a minute. I wonder if this could be the Forest of Silence. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get moving. My school went to the Tokyo Tower today on a field trip. The observation deck was so high, and everything below looked so tiny. Is it corny that I was excited about going there? Out of nowhere, a flash lit up the sky. And when I blinked, I was floating over a magical world called Sephiro, along with Umi and Fu, two girls I had just met. Then, a boy named Clef told us of our destiny as magic knights. I'm confused, but excited. Another strange thing happened. This evil woman named Alcyone attacked us, and when I went to attack her, I suddenly had command of this fiery magic blast. 
I was surprised, but I think Alcyone was blown away. Literally. Anyway, I worry about Clef. But like Fu said, we have to keep moving forward. For Clef's sake. Another strange... Hikaru isn't the only one who can keep a diary. I decided to keep one, too. That way, everything won't be filtered by her alone if someone ends up reading about this weird trip we're on. Hikaru somehow called up a kind of fire magic and defeated an evil woman who was after us. It was very cool, and I'm kind of jealous. I wonder if I'll ever get something like that. If only Hikaru got magic, it wouldn't be fair. Hikaru's leadership has inspired me to keep a journal of this adventure. I thought I would write down some basic observations about this world they call Sephiro, but it seems like I don't have enough room here to write enough to matter. Oh well, perhaps later. Hikaru used a sort of flaming elemental blast to dispose of a woman who attacked Clef and then sought to destroy us. I wonder how the fire magic actually works. Oh well, this world is full of mysteries. as if no one is at home right now. Perhaps this isn't even Precia's house. Did you see that? The door just opened. What kind of person leaves their home unlocked? It's not safe. Well, let's not waste time just talking about it. You mean, go into the house? Isn't that bad manners? Okay, fine. You stay out here with your manners and the monsters, and we'll go in. Gee. Thank you. 
Magic Knights, it is my duty to welcome you here. Oh, and by the way, my name is Precia. I'm the senior commander here on Sephiro.
And Precious. Mysterious Sephiroth Lecture Number One. You have accomplished the first objective of your journey. Makona is in your party. It is foretold that Makona will be no end of help to the Magic Knights. You should already know to press Start in order to access the command menu. And there you can use items that Makona is holding for you and change various settings. The most important command to remember is Illustrated Diary Writing. 
Use it often and you will have many wonderful memories of your adventures. You now know the basics. Time to end the session and return to the game. Have fun! See you later, kids. I met a long-eared creature named Mokona in a huge mansion in the forest. What a cutie! We became fast friends. We also met Precia, who told us to find something called a Scudo at the Eterna Spring. Since we have no choice, I guess that's what we're doing. I finally met Precia. She told us to travel to the Eterna Spring using some loner weapons. The freaky part is that she says there are tons of monsters along the way. But Hikaru seems to be looking forward to it, and Fu doesn't seem upset, so I'll try to keep my cool. I wish I didn't worry so much. girl named Precia provided us with weapons to protect ourselves as we set out to retrieve some mineral called a Scudo. The power this mineral has is really beyond my comprehension. But then again, so are many things I've seen thus far. I suppose I've no choice but to go along for the ride.
We met a boy in the woods called Vario that offered to accompany us through the forest. We seemed to be doing fine, so Umi and I said no, but he seems to be following us anyway. I wonder what Hikaru said to him. We met a crazy looking boy in the Forest of Silence. He has wild eyes and I don't trust him. After jumping out of a tree and scaring us half to death, he offered to guide us through the forest. Fu and me both said no way, but Hikaru immediately went gaga for him and took him up on his offer. Man, she's getting on my nerves. wild-looking boy in the Forest of Silence. He says his name is Fario, and he offered to accompany us for our protection. Umi and Fu didn't like the idea, but I thought he seemed nice enough, and we definitely needed the help. Of course I won, and Fario is now traveling with us. Thank you. 
When we left the Forest of Silence, Alcyone showed up again. Umi called on her magic ability to drive her away, and Fu used her magic ability to heal the injuries Fario got in the fight. All we have to do now is make a mad dash for the Spring of Eterna. I thought Hikaru had eyes for Ferio, but now I'm certain that it's Fu that has the Gaga eyes for him. When he knelt and kissed Fu's hand, I'm positive Fu blushed. We don't have time for romance. This is gonna be a problem. I can feel it. Ferio risked his own life to shield me from Alcyon's magic. Needless to say, I'm a little flushed just thinking about it. He actually ended up getting hurt on my account. What a hunk. <sighs> I wonder if this is romance novel love or the real thing. In fact, I wonder how I'd know. My head hurts.
had the most peculiar experience. It seems that when we made it to the spring, Umi, Hikaru, and I entered into some kind of bizarre dreams. In mine, I was attacked by an evil doppelganger. Fortunately, we all managed to overcome the trial and get the escudo. I don't know if I can keep this up. When we got to the spring, I saw Flash. But something was wrong because he tried to attack me. At first I was frightened because I thought he didn't recognize me anymore. But then I realized he was some kind of evil beast that took Flash's form. I wish I could see my dog for real. I miss him so much. I had the weirdest experience. What appeared to be my mother and father tried to attack and kill me. But I soon realized it was a clever trick. Fortunately, Princess Emerald helped me to survive. Hikaru and Fu had some kind of weird experience too. After it all though, we managed to get the Escudo. God, my lord, please forgive me. I underestimated their strength. I, I was unprepared, but next time I'll surely... Silence. There shall not be a next time, dear Alcyone. What? Say God, please. I'm begging you. Just give me one more chance. Master Zega, please! No! Oh, what a gem this one turned out to be. was never suited to the task at hand. Zagat, there's still a chance to stop them. Send me, and I'll show them how we play. Very well, Ascot. Do not return without favorable news.
Precia made us weapons out of a scudo. What's better yet, Mokona is coming along with us. I'm so happy that Mokona is coming. I'm really getting attached. Leaving will be sad. But I guess that's a long way off. I'd better just keep my focus on this quest. When we reached Palizu, the mayor of the village begged us to slay a monster in a nearby cave. His plea was so sincere and his face was so sad that I had to agree. I guess we're off to kill a monster! We all have our weapons of Escudo now. Precia told us to develop the weapons and unleash our hidden powers. Makona is supposed to guide us. Personally, I think Hikaru's already too attached to him. Besides, that fluffball is nothing but a self-centered attention-sucking rat, if you ask me. Hikaru agreed to kill a giant monster in a cave near Palizu. I wonder if we really have the time to do something that risky. I thought we were supposed to be headed for the sea to find the first machine. But that's wishful thinking because Hikaru always gets her way.
Now that Precia has crafted the weapons of Escudo for us, we are to build them with the strength of our minds. Reportedly, that is the key to unleashing the ancient machines. It's a big task, but I think we'll all do our best. I believe the best way to increase our mind power and the strength of our weapons is to help those in trouble. Hikaru obviously feels the same way because she's volunteered to help the people of Polizu. Thank you. 